My name is Jin, and I'm a high school teacher right outside New York City. Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to clean up your Google Classroom and close it out for the end of the school year and get you ready for next school year. So let's get started. So let's clean up our Google Classroom. This is obviously not my real classroom. I set it up for this video, but it's, it'll give you the idea. So let's go to Classwork, this tab on the top. And actually, you know what? Let's start with grades, sorry. So let's go to the Grades tab because the first thing we need to do is return all work. So I'm gonna click on the three dots on the top and return all work. And I can see I haven't marked this work. So before you archive your class, you want to make sure that you have graded everything. Here this grade is a draft and that's because I haven't returned it. So before you archive a class, just make sure that you've gone through and you have graded and returned all the work for all your classes. Again, it's the three dots and return all and return. So that'll uh, allow you, if you want to make a private cop comment before you return it, you can do that there. Once you've got everything all returned, then another thing you can do is you can go to people, you can select all, and you can remove them from your classroom. I personally don't do this. I don't ever unenroll students from my Google Classroom, but I just wanted to show you how in case that was something that you wanted to do. Now, in the Classwork tab, we can go to our Google Calendar. And you'll see in Calendar that it makes a separate calendar for each class. So um, what you can do for that is you can go to the three dots and you can hide from the list. So you can hide that class so you're no longer having that on your list. Or if you just really want to get rid of it, you go to Settings and just scroll all the way to the bottom and just go ahead and delete that from your calendar. The other thing that we want to clean up before we archive this class is our class drive folder. So once we come in here, this is the folder for this particular class, but you can also just go to the classroom folder and you can see that I have a couple of classes in here. You can create a folder. I'm going to right click on my trackpad and select new folder and call it archive. You can also go to this plus sign at the top and just select folder. As with almost anything in technology, there are multiple ways to do things. There are multiple ways to return those assignments that we did earlier. There's multiple ways to do almost everything. But if you've got other ways that you do things, tell me in the comments below this video. I love to learn new things and sometimes it's just personal preference. So you can either just move to the archive folder or within the archive folder, you can make another new folder for this particular school year. If, if you want to organize it that way, or you can just move the assignments and the class right into your archive folder. So everything goes in there. The one thing that you want to make sure of if you, I don't personally delete anything in, um, in my drive because I have unlimited space as a G Suite for education user, so I don't need to. And if I wanna go back and use student example work or anything like that, I wanna have it in my drive. But if you're a person that really likes to delete things, just make sure that you have returned all the work. When, this, when the student submits the work to you, you temporarily become the owner of that work. So if you delete it as the owner, you are truly deleting it. But if you've returned it, then you're no longer the owner, they are, and you're only deleting it from your own drive. So if you're gonna delete, just make sure that you have returned the work. So let's see what else we need to do after we clean up our drive. And let's go back. And the last thing that I do is I go to all my classes and I click on the three dots on the top and I make a copy of this class. So what this is gonna do, 
When I create a copy of the class, what's happening is I get a new class. I get a new class with no students and no announcements on the stream and with all the classwork saved as drafts. Students can't see any of this, but all the assignments are here for me to edit and repost. So that helps me get ready for next school year. After that, I can just go ahead to my original class that I was working with and press archive. Go ahead and archive it and that's it. Now when you archive a class, one of the great things is you can still reuse posts and assignments from that class when you're posting in new classes for the following year. So that information's not gone. It's just not cluttering up your desktop space in classroom or your students when they're done with it. So that's it. It's that easy to clean up your Google Classroom. Like I said, if you have any tips for me, put them in the comments below. If this video is helpful to you, please tell your teacher friends all about it. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you.